How's it going? Just want to do like a quick little uh, intro or about me. Um, I know that some people are like, well, where did this guy come from? Or I had never heard of him before. And for many of you checking out my website, it might be the first time that you've heard of me. So I uh, just wanted to give like a quick little bio, a little background on me, where I came from and how I got into shaping. Um, I grew up in Long Island, New York, and uh, I joined the army when I was 18, right after September 11th happened. So I grew up surfing in Long Island. Um, you know, small waves, East Coast, hurricane type of stuff. Uh, I was lucky to get stationed here on the North Shore in Oahu. And I ran into some of the right people right off the bat. And uh, at age 19, I had a house. We were, me, and, me and a friend from Huntington Beach and another guy were rented a house right behind Sunset Beach. And uh, kind of surfing all over the island and uh, getting a taste of Hawaii and the North Shore and different spots and kind of learning as we went along. and. Um, we, we made friends, me and my friend made friends with a shaper named uh, George Vincenti, who was a Brazilian shaper, and he had a store in Haleiwa. It's now a One Love Surf Shop. Um, before it was Jay Vincenti Surf Shop. And uh, he was super friendly with a lot of the military guys, and uh, so I started ordering boards from him, and um, you know, I got into, like, more into, like, cur curious about making boards, and I. Uh, I watched the John Carper videos and I was like, oh, I think I can do it, but I would need the right equipment and like a little bit of like a lesson or anything. And so um, George got us pretty much set up. I mean, he gave us racks and he gave us like an opportunity where we built our own shaping room and we dropped a lot of money. And back then it was like Clark's bone. So we were like buying a whole bunch of blanks and uh, he got us set up with hand shaping and um, didn't teach us everything, but it was enough to get us kind of into it and started. And like, I probably burned several thousand dollars of just practicing on, um, you know, Clark foam blanks, but I wasn't glassing them, you know, it's not worth glassing boards that aren't coming out good, you know, but eventually, you know, they were like, oh yeah, that's starting to look good and started glassing them. And uh, Steve from Third Stone was just getting his start. This is back in 2003. So he actually did my first glassing for me before he had the factory and everything. Um, so it's cool to reconnect with all these guys, you know, years later. So what happened was I started riding some of my own boards and I was getting super into it, but we got um, the letter that we were getting deployed and we thought we were going to Afghanistan and long story short, we ended up going to Iraq and I left all the tools to another guy and um, basically we were in Iraq for 15 months and in those 15 months, Clark Foam went under. Um, I don't know what happened to that shaping room, but it's not there anymore. The racks are gone. All my tools are gone. The other guy left. So I, I, I didn't have a business when I got back. And, um, and you know, the shaping industry at that point, when Clark Foam going under, it wasn't really clear what was going to end up happening. So I, you know, I continued to live and work at the North Shore, doing different things for like the next several years. Um, I ordered some custom boards from Tocoro and uh, I had Firewires, LibTech. I, I wrote like a lot of this new technology coming out. And um, then I then I got like in, uh, kind of a weird kind of opportunity of I came into some money and had some free time and um, had a job kind of hiccup situation and uh, the industry kind of stabilized and a lot of these new like Arctic foam and Millennium and a lot of the stuff wasn't around and uh, I had a friend that knew Pizel and I reached out to him he got me set up with uh, another guy named Drew Sparrow and reconnected with some of the guys that helped me when I was doing it in 2003 that did my graphics. So what's cool is the North Shore, like, you know, these guys are like always doing this stuff. And um, it was really cool to reconnect with like people that I hadn't seen like 10, 15, you know, 10, you know, 10 years or more really. And um, new logo, new, you know, new technology, new blanks, um, kind of how to get like a lesson on like now the computer end of it. I, I had seen some computer blanks back in 2003. Um, but they weren't very good and most guys were still like, like hand shaping back then, but a lot's changed since then. So now it's all, all, all digital and you're cleaning up the boards. Um, and then business wise, you know, I kind of knew a lot about the North shore from continuing to work up there and, um, just saw like how things can maybe be different with the website being a little cleaner and more efficient and then, um, kind of just bringing in like a sales and customer service aspect into it that I didn't really, you know, even think about when I was 19. So I'm a little older, maybe a little more mature, I don't really know. Uh, but now, what do, you know, what do we do? What's our focus right now is uh, I'm not looking to be like 
the next mega producer of boards. I just kind of want to have like a stable amount of boards a month. I spend a lot of time in the water. Um, the waves are good. I pretty much am surfing. Um, and then I do a lot of shaping at night, like maybe till 10 o'clock at night sometimes. So I'll shape on holidays. I don't have kids. Like this is kind of, um, you know, like my focus outside of surfing and shaping. So um, we try to have a really high quality customer experience. And um, that's kind of our thing is, you know, like I'm not really able to compete with the main guys that are doing it on their level, but I can pick up where maybe they're not, I don't want to say failing, but overlooking guys as far as like maybe responding back to emails or the customer service part of it. And then also try to offer a really unique customer experience where, you know, there's a lot of new technology coming out and, um, you know, I've always been really big into using maybe smaller boards and bigger waves and just messing around. I think that's a lot of it. Like a lot of the shapers are really consumed with making a shit ton of boards and they're, they don't really get to spend a lot of time in the water. So I'm kind of um, having fun really testing out some of the new technology and I'm able to compare it to like my experiences riding Firewire and some of the other, you know, technology CPS boards and um, really happy with the level of boards and like the blanks and um, just to see kind of where everything's at right now. It's really, I think we're really kind of entering in a, a new area, a new era of custom surfboards and um, I'm excited to be a part of it. So. Yeah, just want to give a little background info on me. A lot of you are probably like, where did this guy come from and what's his mentality? And uh, I just want you to know that when you order from us, like we, we really focus on our quality product and uh, really high level of customer service. And a lot of our customers um, have been really pleased with us and have ordered boards, um, you know, two or three boards from us. So definitely worth checking out. And uh, please don't be afraid to contact us for a price quote to get some more info. Okay, thanks a lot.